Hi, it's Kay Ross here and I'm doing this video to show people how I use a brand new course platform called Spay. I absolutely love it. I've only been a member for about two weeks and as you can see, I'm on my courses page in content and I've got four courses up and um, ready to go. What I thought I'd do today is show you how to add a course or create a course so that you can um, basically see how I did it. Now, one thing I wanted to point out here is down the bottom, this is the um, help um, icon. And this is another thing I am totally impressed with. I have had one or two questions as I got used to things. I clicked on that, asked a question, and I've received an answer within five minutes. Now, that for me, that's really impressive because I'm in Australia, so I'm uh, quite often very different time zones to the rest of the world who um, are in um, the Northern Hemisphere. The guys who created Spay are in India, but they seem to have somebody there 24-7. So that's a great plus for me. Now here we are on the course creation page. As I said, you can see I've got four courses there. And over here under content is where we are courses. So what I'm going to do is create a course. So I just go up into the right hand corner, click create and I need to give it a topic so, um, so, or a name. So I'm going to call this course Difficult Conversations. Instructor is me. The level that I'm on with Spay, I can have, I think, up to six instructors. So far, it's just me. So that's easy. And click Submit. So near, over here on Course Cover, I can add any picture. Now I'm just going to choose one for the sake of this video. So I clicked on the little camera icon, Choose File. And let me just quickly choose a um, picture for here. I, I will probably change it later, but hey, it looks like these guys are having a difficult conversation, so I'll choose that one. Upload. And we'll just wait while this uploads. And there, done. There's a picture for this course. Now, add the first chapter. So click this. And here you can see what we can choose from. So I can either upload a new item, such a PDF, audio, score, which I don't use, or a file, or create a new item. I'm going to create a new item. So I'm going to start with a heading. And the heading is called Welcome. So... Let me put that in there and here we are under welcome. So you can see that's come up straight away and obviously I want something in that. So I'm going to add a video and I'm going to use Vimeo. For me, um, that is the easiest. YouTube is great if I wanted to add something public. So for example, if I want to and I may um, soon, Put the welcome video on YouTube and a link for people to come over to the course itself. For the moment, I've got the video on Vimeo. So I'm going to click on video and then I need to go to my videos on Vimeo. And I've got a welcome video here, as you can see, welcome for difficult conversations. I'm going to copy the link. and go back to my the courses and click in there come down here and it automatically puts in the title of the video and submit so if i want to have a look now and see what things look like i can come over to here to preview course it's reminding me I haven't changed them. So thanks, Spay. Confirm that I want them changed. And now preview course. And I can come over here. And 
there's my video. Just wait for a sec to wait to load properly. Hi, it's Kay Ross here and welcome to the course of Difficult Conversation and thank you so much for signing up. So this course is all about getting you ready to have the Okay, so you can see the git stop it. So that's how easy it was to upload a course. Now, if I wanted to add another chapter, well, actually, let's add a chapter item. So let's say I want to say something about this. So I can actually write um, information about the course, submit. And now I can write something down here. So welcome to difficult conversations. And I can, you know, add as much as I want to there, save, and that will now appear under the video. Now I can go back at any time, and obviously I will be, to change that. Now if I wanted to add another chapter, Let's say, um, what will I call it? I might decide to call it um, more of an introduction on um, more information on uh, difficult course, uh, difficult conversations. So I'm going to make a heading. Um, why do we need to know about difficult conversations, submit, and again I'll add another video, so let me go to Vimeo, and uh, it stayed on Vimeo, as I said I could go back to YouTube or use one of the others, I'm going to go back to um, Vimeo and let's say I want to use this one where I talk a little bit more about difficult conversations. Just waiting for that to come up and I'm going to use the link. Copy and here I go again just load the link there, come down, intro, submit and I've got more information on that. So that is how easy it is to save um, something to the course, to get things up and going, to have a look at it as we go. That's the preview there that we've already talked about, why we need to know, and let's go, that's the video that I've just loaded there. And Hello and welcome to this course on the difficult conversation. So you can see that the video has now, the loaded beautifully that there. I put this and that's all we need to do to actually get the content up and going. So I hope you found this useful. There are other things that I have found out, um, um, putting up the payments and all those sorts of things, but I just wanted to spend a moment showing you a little bit about um, SPAE. One thing I will show you, and so you can see up here now, Difficult Conversations has already appeared, and it's telling me it's unpublished. I'll keep it unpublished until I'm ready to um, get it up and going. Now, if I go here, I can show you a little bit about the website that I have got up and going. So here's the website that I've got my courses on. It's called the Learning Academy. You could click here and it'll take you to the courses that I've got there. And down here, welcome to the Learning Academy. So it gives you some information, some of the features I've got of the courses. Here are the most popular courses. Now you can see the difficult conversation doesn't appear there because I haven't published it yet. Top selling courses, um, some reviews from participants in my other courses. There am I, there I am, founder and owner. 
and learning on the go. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that's a pretty um, good website that comes with the platform. So for me, I can have the website with all my courses on it. I can put as many courses as I want there. I can have as many students as I want. And um, it, once I set it up, it's ready to go. So I hope you found this useful. If you've got any more questions or comments about using Spay, please let me know. But as I said, this is just a quick overview of what it looks like. So thanks very much. As I said, K Ross, and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.